All right, what's up? So I scoured the internet, tried to find everything I could on how to remove an end cap off these barbells because when I started having an issue where the barbell wouldn't spin, I tried to find out how I could take this thing off. This is a Rogue Boneyard weightlifting barbell, as you can see right here. Um, so what you do if you ever have issues is just take this cap off and you'll have these two little holes. So as you can see, tried everything to get it off. I'm pretty sure that they used some Loctite to put it on there. So first I sprayed some PV blaster and then I got myself a HFS R variable pin spanner wrench set. You can see that right there. And this is what it looks like. It comes with a bunch of different sets here. You can use it for whatever else you need it for. But for our purposes, we use the smallest ones here. You can set it and adjust it to however you need to. And I'm telling you, this thing was on there locked tight. I mean, you could not take this thing off. It was ridiculous. So all you gotta do is you're probably gonna need someone to help you with this. That's what we did prior to this, but for all intents and purposes, we will just show you really here real quick how to get this thing off. And that is it right there. As you can see, you have your typical lock spring. You can look up, there's a ton of videos online already on how to take this barbell apart. But I went through, as you can see, oiled it up, got the dirt out of there, whatever it was that was holding it up and fixed it. Rogue does not recommend you taking these barbells apart and therefore um, they're just gonna tell you not to. Ideally, you're gonna have to do it yourself. With these bars, you don't have a warranty, so you're kind of out of luck to some degree. Sometimes Rogue, they have really good customer service, so they'll come through and help you out. But if not, all you gotta do is get one of these spanner wrenches and you'll be able to get that thing off.